Let's talk about gear. Hey, what's up guys, Swig here, and today we're going to be talking about what gear I use to make my videos. I have always been interested in learning about what kind of lenses, lights, cameras, tripods, flashes, everything that my favorite YouTubers use, and so I decided that I would kind of do the same thing and show you guys what kind of gear that I use to make my videos, films, what I use when I have photo shoots with clients, everything like that. I also wanted to make this as kind of a baseline for the future when I get more gear so I can kind of see what I started with, what I got, and what I keep just upgrading to, you know. So uh, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So hands down, the most important part of my setup is the Panasonic G7, my main camera that I use every single day. Even when I'm not doing shoots, I always bring it out, take a few pictures of whatever. I actually like to take pic pictures of my guinea pig. I'll throw a couple up there right now. I bought this for $600 on B&H. Um, most of the time, it's either $700 or $600. As of recording this video, this camera is $600 on Amazon and probably on B&H. I didn't really check B&H. It has a 16 megapixel micro four thirds sensor with super quick autofocus, in my opinion. It records 4K and has all the regular ports and stuff that you get from any other camera and absolutely my favorite feature of this camera is when I'm switching out SD cards or switching out batteries or even if I wanted to plug a dummy battery into the bottom of this the G7 stays on while you have the battery door open unlike most Canon cameras which shut off when you either open the, the battery door or the SD card door um, and that just makes it so much easier for literally everything you do anyway I seriously just love this camera especially for the price so my main lens that I normally use on all my shoots and what I'm using right now is the Lumix 14-42. It's a 3.5-5.6 to sensor. I really don't like this lens a whole lot, but it's the best that I have right now. And I'm, I'm going to be upgrading soon to another 14mm or a 15mm or something like that. I just want to get something where I can record kind of close up like this. But I want a little bit more flexibility on my f-stop as this one is a 3.5 at 14mm. My zoom lens is the Olympus 40 to 150 this lens has some great background blur and especially for $150 it's seriously a great zoom lens and for whatever reason I just really like this telescoping motion that it makes can't tell me this isn't just super satisfying. For lighting, I use a couple different things. I have my main lighting kit, which I'm using right now, and then my on-camera flash right here. The light kit that I use is the Limo Studio 600 watt kit. I got it for Christmas for my parents, and so it's technically the only thing in my setup that I didn't buy myself. It comes with three stands. Two of the main tall ones are the only ones I really use, and it has a shorter one, which I take with me uh, when I go out of town. It's kind of my travel, travel light kit. It also comes with two umbrellas which work great at softening the light and just kind of widening the spread of the light because when you have the umbrellas off, the light bulbs just kind of tend to focus in on one area where it wants to shine the light and it's really harsh. This here flash is the ProMaster FL100. It cost me $35 at Wolf's Camera Store in Topeka and that camera store is seriously my favorite place to go. I go to Topeka a lot of times for family and stuff like that and I've also been done a couple shoots up there but every time I go up there I have to stop at Wolf's because they just have so many things and I promise this is not a paid advertisement for Wolf's, I just really like their store. I got to test this out before I bought it which is honestly the main reason I got it because they showed me how to set it up with my camera and get it working and once I finally got it home and did figure out how to get it working it is amazing and I haven't shot with it yet like I haven't done like a portrait session with it yet but I'm trying to do that and uh, I'll take you guys behind the scenes when I finally do that when it comes to my gear bag my guilty little pleasure is my Manfrotto tripod the Manfrotto be free put me out about two hundred and fifty dollars that is a big price tag when you're just starting out but it seriously is the greatest tripod that I've ever used it's very portable because of how lightweight it is and the tripod head moves smoothly with multiple tension screws and an amazing quick release plate audio is the most important part of your video and so when it comes to audio I use two things when I'm not using my Rode video micro which is right here and I really like the way that I have this set up on a scissor arm I'm using my iPhone which isn't great but it works better than the on-camera mic but seriously the Rode video micro was only sixty dollars and it's one of the best purchases I've ever made it sits on a right coat mount to reduce popping and vibrating and it wears this little dead cat like a sweater and I'm gonna make a sweater for myself like this during the winter so I'm gonna dress up as this dead cat for Halloween not really but you know it was worth a it was worth the joke and finally the low pro Tahoe 
150 I just like saying low pro Tahoe it's my gear bag that I use and it's pretty straightforward it has all the normal stuff that you would uh, find in a normal backpack but it's the one I wear to all my shoots it is very comfortable and it uh, every time I drop it kick it bump it whatever it usually stays up honestly it doesn't really fall over and when I do I know that my stuff is safe on the inside and $60 seriously is not a lot to pay for something like this when I could have easily spent upwards of $200 on a satchel or a different kind of backpack and that's it Right now, I just have the essentials for filmmaking and photo shoots, and in the future, I'm gonna be upgrading to some better stuff. Like, soon I'm gonna be getting a 25 millimeter, 50 millimeter uh, equivalent lens for my Lumix G7. But uh, yeah, we're back, baby. Let's get to video making, let's get to filmmaking. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep filming and keep it real. Peace.